Hey guys, how you doing today? Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to be, this is my philodendron varicosum. Um, <laughs> well, kind of. It, uh, is not doing very good. I, I, I keep struggling with her. Can't figure this plan out. This was the last leaf that she had on it. You can see it's like really funky. Um, I do not know. She does not have any kind of a bug issue or anything like that. So I don't know what's going on with it. It was on. I just, just now getting ready for the video knocked it off. It was right here. But anyhow, trash. Um, you can see this plant is growing out in two, two sections here. This is the main stem, and then I cut, I made a cut off of it here, and it grew out this way. And then I made another cut here, and it grew out of this way. So what I want to do, I'm going to be making several cuts on this plant. It's got a new growth here, here, and then right here. And you can see this new growth is not doing well. And I just cannot figure this one out. It's got plenty of humidity, plenty of light. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rooting her out in perlite in this jar right here. So I'm going to fill this up. Get my water added to it. Get that ready to go. Now I fill my water all the way up to the top because it's easier to put the cuttings down in and take them out. I'll let that soak in a little bit and then add some more later. Actually, I probably shouldn't have filled it all up, all the way up. But what I'm going to do is get rid of this and I'm just going to kind of figure out as I go this has a lot of node cuttings or nodes on it to make cuttings so I'm just going to go crazy the plant isn't doing well anyhow so I'm going to see how far I'm going to take it down. I'm just going to play it by ear and go for it. I'm going to try to make them really small, real small cuttings. So, like there's a node. I think I'm going to cut this right here. And I, I have looked all over this plant for any kind of a bug issue, spider mites, anything. And I, I'm just not, I'm taking this sh little bit of dried up sheathing off and I'm still not seeing any kind of an issue. And it's weird that this growth is turning brown already. So, I don't know. It's got some air roots coming out <clears throat> of the stem. Out of the stem node. So, it should take off a root pretty quickly. And that's another thing with this plant is it roots slowly. But what I'm going to do, just to double, double make sure that she roots out well, is I'm going to be using my rooting hormone and getting that on there really good and sticking it down in and I'm just gonna try to put a whole bunch of different cuttings in here there's the first one and then I think what I'll do is cut this one I 
would be one, two. I'm going to cut her right about right here. You know, and it's kind of funny because this plant was giving me issues. I think I've had it two years now. It was giving me issues, and then for some reason this summer it just took off, and it was doing beautifully. It looked good. It was growing well. The leaves were good. They weren't really huge, but you can see the new growth there and there, but you can see how it's... The leaf is drying out and I don't I don't get that because it's had plenty of humidity. Look at that. See how it's doing? So that leaf is pretty much gonna be wiper jawed and useless. But this one's got a lot of nodes in, on here. So I am just going to, once again, use my rooting hormone. Stick her down in here. Let her go crazy. <laughs> and then I'm going to make another cut. Because I want to try to straighten this whole plant out. So I'm going to cut where She's grown out. So I'm going to cut this off. Can you guys see? Let me move my camera down just a hair. I'm going to go ahead and cut this section off where it grew out. Because this has got a lot of node area on it. Cleaning the sheathing off. I just don't understand why this plant gives me so many issues. I see other people's growing beautifully, and I've got good humidity in the house, so that's not it. I do not let her dry out in between waterings, and she gets plenty of light, so I'm just going to. Root hormone, stick her down in there, and then this one, I'm also going to cut right here. And then this one, I think, that was just a dried up piece. I think I'm going to take her down to right about here. Leave the rest of this one in the pot. And then this has got one, two, three, three nodes on it. Stick her down in there. So, um, that's it. This is what's left of the original plant. I, pr I accidentally poured some wet perlite that I was that was old in this cup. I was trying to dump the water into the plant, and it kind of um, spilled out, but no biggie. So that's what's left of my plant. <laughs> and then here's all the cuttings. Uh, I don't know. We will see how this goes. I will keep you guys updated on the rooting progress. And then what I'll probably do is leave this in here as long as I can. Let her root and start getting some new growth possibly coming out, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And I'll leave her in here 
probably kind of a long time. I don't know. I'll make up my mind when the time comes because I change my mind every five minutes with stuff. So I can say I'm going to do one thing and then I turn around and do something different because I just, I've struggled with this plant so much that and I really don't want a bunch of cuttings sitting around, but I have to do something because she's just not growing right. So this is what I'm doing, rooting her in perlite plus the rooting hormone. And then we will see what this little nub does. And she's got good roots on her. I just repotted her not too long ago, like maybe a month ago. Um, I don't remember if I did it on video or not. But this plant has good roots on it, so I know that's not the issue. So I will keep you guys updated on this plant, maybe in about another month. It's kind of slow, so it could be a couple of months. And, you know, or maybe we'll just check in on her one day and see how the roots are doing. And play it like that in about a month or so, because this plant does take a long time to root. At least it did for me last time. And the last time I rooted this plant out, the last two times, I did it in spag. So, and the perlite does seem to go to root stuff out a lot quicker. So we'll see how it goes. And alright guys, I am going to let you go and I will talk to you later. Bye. Peace.